What's up everybody? Welcome to another F&B Wines to Wales backpacking video. My name is Craig Kuleski and this year I'll be taking on my 11th Wines to Wales. So what I'm going to run through in this video is how I pack my bag to camp for three nights while riding the Wines to Wales. Remember to keep it simple, don't pack too much unnecessary gear. And one thing to remember, the clothes you wear on you also count as a part of the gear that you take with you. Let's get started. First thing, helmet. Remember, no helmet, no ride. One thing to remember, you will not be getting a bag at registration this year, so you can use a bag from a previous race, anything up to 110 liters, one bag per person for transport reasons. This is my 70 liter bag from last year's Wines to Wells. It has multiple compartments in, and this size bag works fine for what I need to pack for the three days. Remember, you don't have to pack tubs. What I do is I decant all my nutrition into sachets and bags, and I keep all of that in the side over here with all my food. Okay, so let's start with the side pouch. In the side pouch, I have some snacks while camping, bottle of water for the tent, one of my bottles for the bike, a bottle to stay hydrated around the campsite, and then what I do is all my nutrition goes into Ziploc bags. I've got three Ziploc bags, one for each stage, one, two, three. And then inside these bags, I have all my food for the day. And then I decant all my nutrition into Ziploc bags. One thing to remember, the water points are fully stocked by USN. So you don't have to ride with too much food. But if you do ride with specific food and nutrition, take your own food with you. All right, let's have a look and see what's inside the bag. So firstly, in the lid, have some slops for around the campsite, eyewear to ride with, or personal eyewear, and a small mini pump. It's important just to take a couple of your own personal tools with, just so you got some stuff around your tent. I highly recommend if you do a lot of stage races and ride a lot of technical terrain and single track, a USB pack is a must. Inside this bag, I keep my riding glasses and a pair of gloves, so they right where I need them when I start off in the morning. Next up is riding kit. What I like to do is have my kit for every stage in a bag. I like to reuse the Ciavita bag that the gear comes into. You can see everything inside and it compacts nice and small. And it's just a nice system to have in place for all three days of riding. So this is stage one bag. I've got S1 there for stage one. If you open it up, I've got everything in this bag that I need to ride stage one. Cycling top. Socks, bibs, arm sleeves, sun protection, always ride with arm sleeves, underlayer, and a pair of baggies. So if you ever shop at Vita, keep these bags. They've got multiple uses and I use these a lot. If you travel a lot to stage races or any races or personally, one thing I could recommend you do is invest in these packing cells. They help compress your bag a lot more with all your gear and it's also a good way to have a system in place to store all your necessities. So in most of my packing cells, I know what's in each one. This one I've got wet wipes, mosquito repellent, anti-chafe and chamois cream. So everything always lives in the same packing cells. Next up is a shower bag. So what I do is I have a shower bag that's small, lightweight and compact. And in the shower bag, I have my towel ready to go and then my toiletry bag with all my sunblocks and everything that I need. Another small little tip is these little tubes you can get. I decant all my shampoos and my face washes and everything into this just to save space. Medical kit, I have everything that lives in this bag and this is my travel medical kit. One important thing you need for once to wells or if you're camping, earplugs, very important. And also in this bag is some extra sunblock. Another little thing I've learned over years is to travel with all my tablets in a box like that. And everything is named for exactly what I need. So next up is a toolkit. Remember there are mechanics around the race village. You don't have to take your own tools, but I always like to have my own toolkit with me when I'm out doing races. Spare tube, lube, Leatherman, valve, brake pads, and a whole bunch of other odds and ends in here. My GoPro bag, 
got all my cameras in here that I need to film every day while riding one swells. Let me run through my sleep system quickly. So I'm in the outdoor industry, so I'm very fortunate to have super lightweight gear. This is my sleeping bag, which is all I travel with, and I pair that up with a silk, which also acts as a sheet. If you don't have one of these, I do recommend taking a sheet with you. And then my pillow is a memory foam pillow, which I squash down into this pouch and this expands to a decent size pillow for comfort. So this is a normal size sleeping bag. If you have a bigger travel bag, you can take a bigger sleeping bag. But because my bag is only seven liters, I opted to go with the smaller, lighter sleeping bags. All your electronics, all my electronics live in this blue pouch and this is everything I need for the three days to keep all my gear charged. So in here, I have a headlight, very important, remember your headlight power bank to keep the basics charged, power adapter, heart rate monitor and my Wahoo, AXS charger and one thing I've been traveling a lot with lately is a three in one cable which allows me to travel with less cables. This has a USB-C, micro USB and a Apple charger on it. While we're on this topic, remember there is an F&B recharge lounge where you can recharge your gear, chill out, drink coffee and relax. Wines to Wells go to a massive effort to keep everyone comfortable and they supply all these lounges for the riders to be used during the race. If you're riding the Wines to Wells and still need to do some work, remember you can still take your laptops. The GRC Change Lounge has everything available for you to carry on doing your work while you're riding the F&B Wines to Wells. There is also a Savannah Chill Zone so there's lots of options for all the riders to relax after every day stage. Next up in this packing cell, cap, buff. Remember to take a beanie or gloves with, it can get cold. Rather just take it with to be safe. And jocks and socks. So everything is separated and I know exactly which bag it is in. Then my main packing cell, in this one, I have everything, all my normal clothes I need for every day. Remember to pack a nice warm puffy jacket, it can get cold. And then everything else in this pouch is all my daily clothes, pants, t-shirts, pants to sleep in, and everything else I need, all compressed into this packing cell. Okay, the next packing cell is my cold weather gear for on the bike, windshell, rain jacket, and a gelée. You never know what the weather is gonna do during the wine swell, so rather pack everything and be prepared the weather can be brutal out here, so I'd rather just have it with you in the bag. Then my last pouch are my shoes. And in my shoes, I sometimes keep extra socks or gloves, just some extra space to store things. And I keep these in a pouch as well, so after the race, they're dirty, all my other gear doesn't get dirty in the bag. That's it from me. I hope you guys enjoy the 2024 F&B Wines 2 Wells. Enjoy the ride, ride safe, enjoy the kiss, and see you guys out there. Cheers.